On this special episode of System Integrators Weekly, you've heard the legends of the bird that rises from the ashes, but you've never seen it exemplified or spelled like this. This special story and more on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds! Hello, everyone. I'm Brea Thorne. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly, where we are shook. We are shook as shook can be. I was hoping something like this would happen after the debacle with the company that shall not be named. Everything just burned down around it with one man holding a box of matches and laughing maniacally as he ran away with the money. However, as the story goes, the phoenix rises from the ashes. For those who are not following, I, I want to I I make one thing clear because uh, Phoenix PCs and the people behind it have been super classy about this and have not really mentioned that previous name. But for those who aren't really following what I'm saying, I'm sorry about that. Um, the company was, of course, Artesian Builds. So um, when I say that Phoenix is rising from the ashes with a capital A, you know what I'm saying. You may have heard a few things about the ex-employees of said company and the plight that they were in. Suddenly you had dozens and dozens of qualified people who were dedicated to their jobs unemployed. And we're going to be covering this story today because it is an inspiring one and one that I am hoping to see flourish. Now, the company I'm talking about, this grassroots startup, is Phoenix PC. No, not spelled like the, that weird way. Um, spelled this other weird way, which is fine. And honestly, you may have seen me in the past make fun of companies naming things with odd spellings. Next, we have and DXT build. So while we know they don't have vowels in stock, however, not this time. Through my time with the company that shall not be named, I grew to know these people. What we're going to be looking at is a company built by its employees from the ground up in a true comeback story for the ages. And you get to be there for the start of it. Now, before we get to the real meat and potatoes of this story, I do need to let you know that this episode is sponsored by VIP CDK Deals. What is that? Have you not activated Windows, really? How do you deal with this? Look, I, I know, you can use Windows without activating it, okay? I understand that. Because retail keys for Windows can be really expensive. No! But you don't have to get a retail key for Windows. The sponsor of today's video is CDK Deals, and they offer OEM keys for a fraction of the price. Like, Seriously, I've even got a code for you guys, Bray25, where you can get an additional discount over their already discounted price. I mean, skip going to Whataburger a couple times and uh, you can pay for your Windows key. In any case, it may seem a bit weird that uh, because I cover pre-built PCs, I have had for the last, what, more than half a year, I've had CDK deals as a steady sponsor and supporter of the channel. It may be odd because system integrators usually will provide a Windows key for you when you buy a pre-built PC or a custom PC built for you. However, there are a couple of options, like uh, say this one right here, Build Redux, uh, where you can go remove OS, no software support, or you can go with um, Ava Direct. And, and the second page you can choose, it actually by default has no operating system key. And it costs you at minimum $106 to get it. When you could just spend around 15 bucks and you're activated. You get all your customization options, no more watermark showing, you're done. Awesome. These are actually for OEM keys. Now I keep saying OEM, what does that mean? OEM means that it is not like the retail key where you can use it on multiple computers because it's a key that's locked to your Microsoft account. An OEM key is locked to your computer that you use it on. So yes, that means that you can't use it on the next computer you get, which you do how often? Right. So better to just get an OEM key, spend your 15 bucks and you're on your merry way. Something to keep in mind is these guys, AvaDirect, will install Windows on your system, just not activate it. And they'll install Windows 11 Home. That means when you go to cdkdeals.com through the link in the description to go get Windows, make sure that you get the key for Windows 11 Home. Whatever key you get from CDK Deals needs to match the operating system that you have installed if Windows is already installed. If it's not already installed and you need to get Windows to install it, go to the link in the description where it says, here's how to do it. Because I made a whole video on how to download Windows Media Installer 
and run the install, and then use CDK Deals to activate it. So once you've gotten it installed, you just go to CDK Deals through the link in the description here. You buy whichever one is appropriate for your operating system. Use code BRAY25 to get 30% off. That's a discount over their already discounted price. After your purchase is complete, click view keys slash codes. Click get the key and copy it. Then go to your Windows search bar, type out activate and click activation settings. My Windows install is already activated, so I'll be replacing it, but yours should just say activate Windows. Paste in the key, click activate and you're done. Thank you CDK Deals for continuing to support the channel. Now, let's talk about Phoenix PCs. During the run of the uh, aforementioned company, there were two teams. There was a team on the West Coast, where the sort of headquarters was, and then there was a team on the East Coast. Now, many members of the Swarm, my Discord community, grew to know and love the streamers, the builders, the people, the personalities at the East Coast, and they were passionate about what they did. The East Coast streams were chill, and great to watch, great to hang out in, and I made friends there. And knowing that they were set adrift after everything that happened, it was, it was really painful. When things went belly up very quickly, there were a lot of qualified, passionate people who were suddenly jobless. And though there were some valiant efforts and great coverage, from some of my absolute favorite uh, YouTubers, hello. The company has decided to lay off all of its employees via Slack tonight. It's a nice message for the team to wake up to. Really the heartbreaking thing about it all is that it's about 40 to 50 people who've lost their jobs tonight by complete surprise from a scenario which was probably recoverable. There wasn't going to be an answer for everyone to just go and work at another company. A lot of these guys wanted to continue working with each other and carry forward the dream that they had the way that they wanted to, rather than the way that someone else wanted to. And we're not going to get into the past stuff. This is not about the past, except to emphasize how exciting this is to see a group of people come together, pour their entire selves into building something newer and better, which will, which will exemplify the values that people sought from the previous company in a much better light. And I want to emphasize something here myself. Though we are talking about a company that is rising from the ashes of a previous one that burned down spectacularly, they are not linked to that person that uh, was caught holding the match. It's really sad to see how many people end up out onto the street over the actions of uh, a CEO who is running a PC building company and yet is infatuated with trying to become famous on Twitch. They are not linked to that person in any way, shape, or form. This is not that company. That company is gone and for sale, by the way. So at least all of its all of its assets are for sale. So if you got 200 grand lying around and you want a bunch of random parts that were supposed to go into paid for PCs, go for it. This story would not possibly fit into a single episode of System Integrators Weekly, but we're going to get to that part of it later. For right now, what we're going to do is take a look at what they're doing to start, how they are launching this, because the people behind Phoenix PC are not going to take the traditional route. If you're expecting traditional polished marketing, a super fancy website, a all of, the, all of the glitz and all of the, the polish that you might expect from a company that's been around for years, well, that's not what startups are. What we're going to see is going to be rough. And we have an opportunity, and at least I have an opportunity here, and you do in the comments, to give our, our feedback, give our suggestions. Now, my normal disclaimers would say that this episode is being filmed for June 19th, 2022, and the prices and availability that you see can change because the market is constantly in flux. However, that still stands, but for different reasons. That uh, what you're gonna see here, we're gonna take a look at the three systems that they currently have as their, as their first offerings, or their sort of launching uh, systems here, and they may keep it this simple. That's There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, other disclaimers are also valid here where I'm gonna be putting out my opinions here, I'm gonna be presenting my opinions and, and this will be colored by that, but 
I don't form my opinions lightly. A lot of thought goes into deciding how I feel about a thing or, or people or a company. So uh, feel free to discuss or disagree. I, I, I encourage that and do so in the comments below or in the Discord, which is linked in the description below or in my streams. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday at around 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. What I want to take a look at here is the team. And many of you will recognize some of the faces here. So you can actually go here and go to About Us and you will see a lot of the people that you are used to seeing if you watch those East Coast streams. We're gonna go over the details, we're gonna go over the website. So um, let's actually do that. Now there is this tweet from Cool Round, okay? Cool Round is Ryan. And uh, Ryan said, Cool Round said, uh, when I say this process has been crazy, I mean I went from not knowing anything about websites to creating our site in a few months. Getting it ready to take orders from starting fresh was the biggest project in my life. That's right, this, over the, over the past couple of months, this website we're about to look at is a project by someone who had never designed a website before. These are the kinds of things you need to take into account and understand that everyone here, they don't have a marketing team. They don't have a team there designing everything to be absolutely perfect and polished and shiny for you. And as a matter of fact, this is pretty well reflected in the launch video that they posted on their new YouTube channel, which has, uh, even for a brand new YouTube channel has gotten almost 6,600, well, over 6,600 views, which is great for a new YouTube channel. Let's check out the website. Let's see what Ryan put together. And let's remember, first website. And looking at this, I've made a website before. It did not look as nice as this, okay? Pretty normal first page here, large logo. You got that really nice, you know, PC picture in the background, nice up close. And then right away, you have your three systems. The Harpy, the Siren, and the Griffin. We are clearly going for some you know, mythological creatures here and keeping that theme. So you have your budget, mid-tier, and then higher end system here. We're gonna take a look at the specs that are already listed, but let's keep going here. So what it says is the basics here. If built by professionals, you can watch your order being built, and it is quality tested. You're gonna get it, you plug it in, put your games on it and play. Talks about who they are because that is an essential factor of this company is who they are. And this is not something that you see with a lot of system integrators. Many system integrator websites will distance themselves from showing the people behind the company. And that personally, that bothers me. Now, of course, you got the uh, the video here. You know, you got to you got to respect them for going directly for the meme right off the bat. And of course, you're going to have stuff from their socials here. And guess what? They're starting this whole thing off with a PC giveaway. You, 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 you guys like those. This is something I know. So first off, the Harpy is described as the entry level option for those looking to break into the world of PC gaming. And the combination of parts we've chosen provides an outstanding price to performance ratio. Let's take a look. So this is the Harpy right here. It is 950 bucks. They started off, yes, they started off with a sub $1,000 system. You, I do want to immediately point out the bold text here. There is no underhanded stuff going on here. They're not hiding anything. Current lead time, four to six weeks, then they ship it out. It's not because they're slow. These guys will work 16 hour work days. They will crank out PCs. As long as they've got the parts and the orders, they will do it. As it says here, um, Harpy truly is a PC for anyone that wants a solid 1080p experience for AAA titles. Let's see what that means to them. This, they say the CPU and GPU combination provides an excellent value for the average user. Now, the, the disclaimer, you know I like my disclaimers. Let's see theirs. As a brand new startup, we are still in the process of negotiating with distributors. What did I say earlier? This means the parts lists are subject to change. We will do our best to make sure any changes are properly communicated. Please excuse us if any product photos or parts lists change. That's totally fair. So you've got the description here, and this I love because they're gonna go th through here and tell you basically sort of the, uh, the idea behind the system there, okay? So we're gonna go to specifications, and here we go. And the case is the Antec NX200M, uh, MATX Black, so it is a micro ATX motherboard. Now we're looking at a very, very, I think, wise choice for the processor here, an Intel Core i3 12100F, they went 12th gen, they didn't just go to some like, hey, bargain distributor and say, how cheap can we get 
you know, some Ryzen 5 3600s. Now, let me tell you, those are still fine. So is a 5600X or a 10100 or 11600K. I mean, that's pretty much the one I would choose out of 11th gen Intel, but whatever. They went for the newer stuff here. For 950 bucks, you're gonna get a 12100F, which is was said by Gamers Nexus to be like probably the best budget gaming CPU out there right now. A GTX 1660 Super. There are still some well-established companies out there selling systems at this price point with a 1650. And you're not going single channel RAM, you're going 16 gigs of 3200 megahertz CL16 DDR4. Now the storage, 500 gig M.2, that's probably where kind of a corner was cut. 500 gigs, you install a few games on there, you're out of storage. However, when it comes down to it, storage is one of the easiest things to upgrade. It's just, if you're saying that this is for a new, someone who's new to PCs, they might not be comfortable with that just yet. Uh, also, you're looking at an EVGA 650 watt 80 plus gold power supply specifically stated right there. Now, the cooler, the Vetri V5, you can't go wrong. Vetri V5 has been positively reviewed by Gamers Nexus, by Jay's Two Cents. It's a great budget cooler that punches above its weight class. What I would suggest here for Phoenix, for you guys, is add that as a, an option, just a drop down. Do you wanna add some, some more Vetri RGB fans? You, you know, it's gonna come with its own you know, fan hub itself. I have used these fans in a build and they're, they're, they're good quality. They have RGB and it's gonna match the RGB on the cooler. Yeah, 25, 30 bucks right there as an option. I know you can't add a bunch of customization right now, but doing a drop down to have just that one thing as a, as a, as a checkbox right there or you know, an option there, not too much to add. The reason I say it for this one is because I noticed the other systems have full ranks of fans. So you're, those are good. This one could, it wouldn't hurt to have a few more. So great start right here. The next one is the Siren. So it has three fans in the front, one exhaust fan on the rear, and of course uh, the same Vetri V5 cooler. So let's take a look at the specs on this one. Uh, this one says the Siren is set up to run AAA titles at 1080p ultra settings at 120 FPS and light media editing and design. Now, one thing I would say guys, FPS is a slippery slope. If you try going to guarantee FPS, and you've got someone, uh, you know, a user, or an end user who is running, you know, 30 Chrome tabs and maybe trying to stream at the same time, or they, they, uh, I mean, it's ultra settings vary between from game to game. Different games are demanding in different ways. So if you're going to be vague, guaranteeing FPS is not probably the way to go. Um, you can do, it's, it's not doing anyone any favors to, to put a number there. I would say high refresh rate with ultra settings. Um, the other thing here is that you're selling yourself short on this system because let's look at the specs. We have a 12400F and a 3060 Ti. That can do 1440p. Now, can it do it at ultra settings? No. Should you even be using ultra settings? No. Going from high to ultra settings puts a ton more work on your GPU and your system in general without giving you a ton more visual fidelity. It's hard to tell the difference between high or very high settings and ultra. Vetri V5 cooler can totally handle the 12400F. Uh, this is the same motherboard, B660M. The downside here is that, in, well, for one thing, it's showing a B660M, so it's an MATX motherboard, and in the photo, we're seeing a full ATX motherboard. So it's a little inconsistent there. Maybe the listing here is incorrect. I would just want to verify that with you guys. It does have AC Wi-Fi built in, so you, you have to have a Wi-Fi connection for your home internet. You're all set. The memory doubles up to 32 gigs of 3200 megahertz CL16 DDR4 RGB RAM. And if we look at the previous one, uh, that was just non-RGB RAM. But yeah, 32 gigs of RAM is gonna pretty much handle any game out there. One terabyte M.2 drive, uh, I'd like to know whether it's PCIe Gen 3, Gen 4, and maybe throw in the read-write speeds. Just to kind of give people an idea of what they're gonna be getting. Let me break one thing down real quick. Um, and this is, this is, you know, you guys, my audience. Uh, many of you come forward very honestly saying, I'm new to PCs. You go there, you're gonna be like, that's cool. But there are a lot of people out there who are moderately or very much experienced with PC technology, or they're getting someone to help them who is. 
one of my favorite GPUs on the market. It's so well-rounded, you know, of course, uh, both this and the 1660 Super have the Turing-based NVENC encoder, same one that's in the 3090 Ti. So uh, for streaming, they're both great. NVIDIA cards, for those who want to stream and do content creation, you kind of have to go NVIDIA until AMD Radeon kind of picks up the slack on their encoding. And then a 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply. Look at them going well over the recommended uh, wattage from NVIDIA for the 3060 Ti. So looking at this, the price tag on this is $1,600 with a 3060 Ti. This is definitely fair for a system integrator. Of course, you know, it used to be a, a scant few months ago, this would have been cheaper than building it yourself because those 3060 Ti's were like impossible to get. Now though, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive to have someone else build it for you. You get to watch it being built on stream. There are tons of people out there. If you're there sitting at home thinking like, I just wanna build it myself, do it. That's awesome. Now is a good time to do it unless you wanna wait for the new stuff coming out near the end of the year. That's up to you. But remember that the DIY portion of the PC hardware market is not the majority. So just recognize that if you're a DIY enthusiast, you are welcome at this channel. I have been one of those since I was 13 years old. Anyway, along with that, I do wanna mention something before we move on to the final system, okay? And no, you'll see there is no customization here. They are starting with three strict systems. This is how it's gonna work. Now, you may be able to work something out with them by emailing them, but on the site, there is no customization. And I can't speak for them by saying that. By saying, oh, you just talk to them, they'll do whatever you want. That is not the case here, as far as I know, but who knows? One of the benefits of going with the system integrators, you got a warranty, parts and labor. What they did here, I like, because instead of making it three years one thing and one year another, it's just, they brought it together. Two years labor, two years parts. Double the amount of time for your parts to be covered. There you go. Now with the Griffin, we are looking at the Corsair 5000D. This is a larger case. It has more options to it, more options for cooling. Uh, you're not looking at a Vetri V5 cooler. You are looking at a 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that you're not getting something exactly as what you see here, which has a Corsair cooler and Corsair fans. So something again, guys, you're going to want to make sure that uh, because if you're in a situation, this is for Phoenix, you guys are in a situation where you have it limited to only the three systems and those exact specs. It's a lot easier than companies that have a lot of systems to show to get an actual ideal representation of that that is to the letter as to what parts are going to be used. I highly suggest that, but they do match everything. So let's look at this thing because this thing is a banger. 5000D Airflow Black case, as I mentioned, Corsair case, great case, great build quality. The 12700KF is, to my mind, the best gaming processor, period. Okay, I know about the 5800X3D, okay? But the Socket AM4 platform for AMD is on the way out, whereas the 12th gen Intel can only get better. That platform, you know, the, the LGA1700 socket and uh, Z690 motherboard, that is gonna fit the 13th gen Intel processors are gonna be coming out. Neat, you have a better upgrade path. Whereas for AMD, despite some weird rumors, they're, they've, they, you know, that's the end of the line for a socket AM4. And this one comes with the MSI Pro Z690A Wi-Fi DDR4. It's likely gonna have Wi-Fi 6 or 6E. I would need to look up the, the actual specs on that. If you want more details on these, by the way, guys, come to stream tonight. Let's talk about it. Remember when I said you're gonna see those specs a lot? Well, they're kind of glued to this 3200 megahertz CL16. It's okay, it's good, it's fine. It's just for the highest end system, not that I'm saying I want you guys to have to track more inventory. That's not easy when you're just starting out and you're working you know, out, of, out of a house and that's, that's, that's a, that's a tough, it's a tough environment to do this in, I know. But for the highest end system, I would wanna see something a little better and let's also talk about the uh, power supply. Also, the one terabyte M.2 is okay. Um, this is gonna have, because it's not an, a micro ATX motherboard, it's gonna have more M.2 sockets on it so you can add more storage down the line. One terabyte will get you going for a while. It's just, if you like, like Call of Duty and other gigantic games, 
install seven or eight games in there and it's gonna start really running out of space. But let's talk about the power supply. Now, one interesting thing about 12th gen Intel, the higher end ones, especially the case use that are unlocked and overclockable and all that, is that they basically said, you know what, more power, bring it on. Uh, 12700KF can pretty much hit turbo clocks till the cows come home. For those of you who aren't aware, previous uh, KSQ processors, I mean, previous, previous Intel processors could turbo for a limited amount of time while you're running an intense process. And then it would you know, bring things down to normal clocks and everything. Whereas this, it's just like, there you go, it just keeps going. That means that it's gonna demand more power from that power supply. And we all know that the 3080 has transient power spikes. And uh, though there is some breathing room here, you didn't go for the, thank you. Thank you for not going for the minimum recommended by NVIDIA, thank you. The thing is, I, with the way that things are going, especially with NVIDIA cards, it's going to limit future expandability for things like 40 and 50 series cards, like way down the line. 40 series is not way down the line. The, the speculation and the leaks for how much wattage these things are gonna chug down, is, it's ridiculous. So for future upgradability, I'm recommending to people to get an extra step up on their power supply. So for this system, I'd wanna see like a thousand watts, but that is an extra expense. I know. It's just for the future expandability of the system, upgradability of the system, that's all. Honestly, there are, there's nothing glaring here where I'm like, I can't believe they did that. This is just nitpicks. I got, man, you guys know what you're doing. This is just seriously, I had to look for stuff to talk about here, you know? It, there's nothing where it's like, you must change this. It's just like mild suggestions because I've made my job into optimizing uh, PCs for different use cases and different budgets. That's, that's, that is my living now, that's what I do. So that's just from me to you guys. I want to send out a quick message to those YouTubers out there, YouTube channels and, 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 and uh, you know, influencers who have said publicly that they support the ex-employees of Artesian Builds. Well, um, I've said that myself very publicly. Like I support these guys, they were like family to me, and I wanna see them succeed. Well, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. And I'm already planning to fly up there and film kind of a mini documentary about what's going on, how they're starting, how this is coming to be, um, sort of the ethos behind the company as spoken by its actual employees who are gonna be doing the work. I'm not just gonna say I support that, that I support the former employees of that company and I want to see them do well. I am going to, again, put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to pay for my own plane ticket, fly up there, and I'm going to show you guys the behind the scenes here. They're not, they're not hiding behind anything, but I wanna provide more. I want to provide, you know, sort of a more in-depth look at who they are. I want it to feel absolutely authentic and I want you guys to see what they're doing, how they're doing it. And um, because it's one of those things where if you see this, if you're part of this in this story early on, it's going to mean a whole lot more when they, as I feel they will, when they succeed. I feel it's inevitable. These guys have a winning formula and the guts to follow through with it. So remember guys, there's gonna be a Twitch channel for them and it's already there. So check the links below for all their socials. And I do wanna let you know, none of these links are affiliate links. I'm not getting anything from this. In fact, I am going to be spending money on this to travel up there and do this, okay? This is how much I want them to have the chance to succeed. Keep an eye out. And we, uh, I know, I know that I'm late on some other content, and that is going to come out ASAP. Okay, um, I'm going to film all that stuff and probably just hand it off and have it be published while I'm out. Okay, um, the next Sunday video might not show up on Sunday again. Just letting you know that when I travel, things do get kind of thrown up in the air. So Ryan, freaking fantastic job on this, and I want to say to whoever, whichever of y'all was the low-key marketing genius that made a polarizing video that's gonna make people talk? Hell yeah, I thought it was funny. Now, there is one last thing. If you guys have heard of jawa.gg, now this is a different thing. This is a place where you have individual builders who can sell their own PCs uh, as uh, certified sellers, or you have people selling components, whether used or new. 
That's Jawa. And if you're interested in that, um, join the Jawa Discord because there's gonna be a form you can fill out. And this Thursday stream is gonna be dedicated to me actually helping people out with those forms on stream at 8 p.m. Central time. So um, if you're interested in that, join the Jawa Discord, check that out. Uh, that's something that I'm working with them on directly. So uh, pretty cool stuff there. It is a totally different vibe where it's like the stuff, they'll have a PC built and you can buy it or they'll have parts where you can build it yourself, that kind of thing. So pretty different sort of uh, sort of thing there. So yeah, check that out, um, and I'll put a link to their. I'll, I'll try to put a link in the, to their Discord in the in the, uh, in the description down below. A link to all the socials for Phoenix PCs in the description below. Go check it out, and you know what? Follow my Twitter because I'm going to keep y'all up to date on a lot of this stuff, especially especially when I head up there. I'm pretty committed to doing this. So unless something gets in the way, which I will also inform you guys of, you're going to want to watch my Twitter because that's where I'm going to be posting updates. Okay, that's when I'm posting updates as to, hey, here's when the next stream's gonna be, here's when the next video's gonna be, check out this, this picture of us or check out what they're doing here, little sneak peeks. I am also committed to putting some of that on Twitter while I'm out because there's times where I miss content dates that I normally have and I don't want y'all to miss that. So that's gonna do it for this episode. I know it was weird, weird stuff's happening. So I gotta roll with that. Anyway, um, I will catch y'all. Uh, on stream tonight. Come check it out. Come hang out. If you're watching this in the future, let's make this a smoother transition. Let's head up there to Rally, North Carolina in three, two, one. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure if <laughs> the next video is going to be me heading up there uh, just yet. So uh, if this bit is... It. So, so if I do, I'll cut this part out and it's going to be awesome. Um, thanks for watching my video well before any of that. Take care, guys.